the Soda Pop Stop. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, we are, we're back on the fizz train, I guess? <laughs> I think you mean the fizz rocket. The fizz, oh jeez. <laughs> um, we are trying Rocket Fizz Marshmallow today. Uh, this was a uh, me choice. Yes. Surprising that no was, one. <laughs> yeah, not surprising a single soul. We know I'm... Much like cookie dough, me and marshmallows were like this. I mean, I'm on the marshmallow train. Marshmallow ice cream is the best. Yeah, I like the marshmallow cookies. Yeah, we're, we're marshmallow fans. Yeah, here. marshmallow's good. Now, a drink marshmallow, that's questionable. This is a little... In my hearts of hearts. A little suspect. It's got uh, that same coloring as the ranch. And it's which triggering a little bit of PTSD. Yeah, it's terrifying me just a little bit. <laughs> so... That cloudiness, man. Yeah, that's scary. Uh, um, like the others, this is made with pure cane sugar. Uh, none of those nasty additives. Just a whole big bunch of weird chemical flavor. Let me look at this real quick. <laughs> I just like the little kid on the front. I don't know if they can see that. Look at that little... He looks like Dennis the Menace a little bit. Uh, crossed with the vault boy. <laughs> yeah, just he's like holding up his drink. He's like, drink it. It won't kill you, I swear. Oh. Um... It's kind of patting his rocket a little suggestively, but anyways. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Does it say anything on here? Carbonated water, sugar, citric acid, sodium benzoate. Super healthy. Yeah, completely. <laughs> yeah. So another uh, another rocket fizz. I mean, that, that's to be expected. As we said, they've kind of cornered that market of weird, weird drinks. So. And this is one of the fun ones made actually under their brand where they're yeah. out and proud that this is Rocket Fizz. Yeah, like the Wintergreen. The Wintergreen also did say Rocket Fizz on it, just like this bottle. Yes. Um, so you ready to get into it? I am ready. Um, I'm excited. I'm, I'm a little bit wary of this one. I and I really do think it is the little bit of PTSD from the, <laughs> from the uh, ranch. All right. It looks pretty carbonated, just in that little bit. Oh, yeah, we got the vapors. The vapors. Thank you. I, I'm really accidentally pouring way too much sometimes. So, this looks almost identical to the ranch um, up close. It's got that foggy white. Yeah, it really does. Kind of color. This seems a lot more carbonated. Yeah. Yeah, it's got significantly more bubbling. Yeah. Which is Ooh. maybe a good thing. Almost, almost got a little froggy <laughs> there. Okay. It smells. It smells test. It smells almost lemony. Yeah, this is interesting. It, it smells, smells really weird. It smells almost. It's almost citrusy. I don't know what to make of this. I don't even know if I smell the citrus so much. I. It just it. I'm not sure. That That's hard to place. It's really hard to place. It doesn't smell like a marshmallow. No, but it's definitely more carbonated, as you can see. Well, maybe. Look at that. That is a yeah, lot more carbonated. That's kind of good head on it. Yeah. All right, you ready? I'm, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. That's good. That's really good, actually. That tastes like you just took a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man... And you were like, yeah, you just get in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, like it's, it does kind of like the uh, wintergreen tasted like Lifesaver soaked in seltzer water. That's what this reminds me of is if you put like a butt a ton of marshmallows in some seltzer water. Yeah, you just shoved it in there and you're like, yeah, just soak for a little while. Yeah, just let it sit for days. It's good. I think it's good. It's really good. It's weird. It's different, yeah. It's, like, different it's good. It's a lot like the winter green to me, where it's different, but it's... This is better than the winter green. Much better. Much better. It's got a, a stronger flavor. Um, it's, yeah. It's more memorable. It's sweeter. Um, yeah, I, I would definitely say this is better. A lot better. Hmm. And it, it continues to have a good flavor. Yeah, it's not one you get sick of. That's one thing that, that I... I uh, you have to take into account is we're each drinking like a quarter of a bottle during this <laughs> yes. which uh you know in movie secrets i mean we're not drinking the whole bottle right off the bat but i mean it, the fact that it can stay with you and still be good is a really good factor of a drink yeah you want to be able to continue to drink throughout the bottle not have a third of it and be like i'm good it's just not not hitting the spot especially with a pure cane sugar soda it's easy to get sick and down on those i think Mm-hmm. yeah 
This is very good. I definitely taste that citrus tang the more I get into it. Yeah, you were getting that now? Yeah, it has kind of a, almost a lemon. It's almost like they use it as an undertone to make the marshmallow flavor. Yes. It's good. Yeah. All right, uh, what's your rating on it? Glug, glug, glug out of 10. Yeah, I was going to uh, say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I caught you at a bad time. I'm, I'm going to give this an 8.5. I'm going to give it an 8. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to give it an 8. It's a, I, That's where I was leaning toward. This is a good drink. Um, I don't think I could drink it, you know, time after time. On the daily? It, not even on the daily, but like once a week if I was going to be like, oh, this soda, like if I was going to have a soda to try or to have. I mean, this is like a once a month soda. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, it's good. It's not, it's not great. So, what? It's not a daily driver. I'm, I, the carbonation's getting to me a little bit. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> well, not very really, before, like. <laughs> before she just goes wandering off, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I want this over a campfire. <laughs>